Reigning queen, it's the reigning queen of I'm a Celebrity Castle, Giovanna Fletcher, who's set to take centre stage on the West End production of 222, a ghost story following in Lily Allen's footsteps. And previews this weekend. Yes, we start this weekend, officially open on the 10th at the Girl Goods in London. I mean, it's been absolutely amazing to work on. It's really intense, yeah. uh, so I love the fact that whenever we're not rehearsing, it's just lots of fun. Yeah. Um, but uh, essentially, it follows Jenny, who is convinced that the last four nights she has heard some ghostly activity at 2.22. <gasps> and her husband, he believes in scientific facts. He's not into this, you know, spooky things. Who's you? Yeah. Um, so he dismisses it. So there, they have people over and she decides to make them all stay until 2.22 so they can see, uh, like, hear it for themselves. Do you think that the castle is haunted? They had a bit of a spooky weekend no, with that. Storm Arwen. Honestly, <laughs> there was a moment last year where Russell had to do something and I thought that's where they were going. They were going down this haunted castle thing and I thought, I'm out. I cannot do, do haunted things because do I believe do in believe. this stuff. Well, yeah, I do. I believe that there is something. And then, I mean, I don't know. I, I was talking to, at the weekend to Mark Gatiss and he was saying about how maybe there are parallel universes and things like that, and it's just so mind-boggling. Did not... you think when you were in the castle there might be ghosts in the castle? Did you feel I, the I didn't think ghosts? there would be ghosts. I thought there would be actors pretending to be ghosts, which would freak me okay. out enough. Yeah. <laughs> they, can't, they can't see me laughing. I mean, you are, uh, you know, you, you came on to the scene and popped from anything else, all the various things you do, your amazing podcast, which I have to say I really love, especially oh. the one with the Duchess of Cambridge, such so worth a listen, but also a, a novelist. I wonder whether you know part of your belief in ghosts and that sort of thing. My imagination is 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 yeah your expansive imagination. It probably is, you know, and it is you know um, Connie was saying earlier, everything is storytelling as well. Yes. So I think that's the thread that leads leads everything and telling stories about ghosts. That's something that's been passed down mm. from generation to generation. Tom's story on I, on Strictly Come Dancing yes. came to an end. An abrupt end. He pledged to keep dancing yes. with his partner, yes. Amy. Outrageous, by the way. <laughs> and Sorry. then she was struck down by a flare-up of a yeah. condition that she They're experiences. Crazy. And you've had to act as nurse to her. Yeah, well, we, we as a family, so they were dancing, they kept that up, and I think that's so good for, you know, when you're doing that show and there's all those endorphins running through you, to suddenly stop, isn't that great? Um, but she had a flare-up last week uh, and she was at our house. Uh, so Tom was with her, Zara Davis was with her, they were out on a walk when it started. Mm. Um, so uh, it was it was right. so bad she had to get an ambulance and then uh, stay in hospital. Uh, and then since then, Everyone is strictly in bubbles. Right. She can't travel to the Midlands or Wales. We just want her with us. So, so this is the opposite of the Strictly curse. You've actually moved in with each other and formed a little family. Exactly. <laughs> that is more of a hostage situation, possibly. <laughs> but I do think that there's something, that's something that's not focused on. The friendships that can be made right. through Strictly. Uh, you know, we absolutely adore her. For us, it's not a Strictly curse. We've actually gained a new member. Oh, that's so lovely to hear. And she's doing all right. She's good, she's good. I mean, she was sat on the uh, sofa last night. The colour is back in her cheeks. She's still got her hot water bottle and every now and then you can see that she is, she's in pain. People with Crohn's are living with pain. Yes. Um, but, uh, you know, it is nice to see the, the pinks going back into her cheeks. Who's going to take your crown? Oh, oh I don't know. I was watching last night. I love Frank. She's an amazing friend. I think she could take yeah. the crown. Arlene last night, just, I mean, she's Louise, got Louise is going to take it. Do you think? Yeah, she, yeah, she does probation. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, David? Yeah. I love David. Mm. I mean, I mean who doesn't? Yeah. That's a she separate issue, isn't it? <laughs> she loves Giovanna, David. Thank so she loves David. Giovanna, thank you so much. The book is Walking on Sunshine. Yes, that's out too. The play is 2.22. Yeah. We are over 19 million, 19 million. minutes Come on. pledged. Keep pledging, and yeah. thank you so much for your time this morning. We're back tomorrow from six. Now it's oh, time to for, Oh, it's time for Lorraine. <laughs> you know, he's always got to do that in his crowd, right? How lovely to see both of them together. It's great. Right, after the break. Don't cancel your Christmas party. That's from the Prime Minister.